Hey YouTube, this is Archangel. I'm bringing you guys an unboxing video because I just uh, received an order from PremiumAquatics.com yet again. Uh, you can notice that this unboxing video is actually taking place in a uh, kind of a different setting here. That's because I'm in the basement where I'm going to be setting up a brand new Apex controller for the 250 uh, gallon reef tank. You can see there's the sump over there. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and start unboxing the stuff we have right here. You see, I think my lens is a little dirty. Give a little clean there. Uh, I got numerous uh, filter socks here. You can see there's, uh, they come in these unique little bags. So we'll put these off to the side. Okay. I ordered on eBay, I just brought it with me, a uh, wireless router. It's a uh, Linksys wireless, I believe, a game adapter router. Then I'm going to hook up the Apex too so it could connect to the their router here wirelessly. Put that on the side. That router wasn't gotten on premium aquatics, that was eBay. But the rest of this order over here, we got um, the Apex, uh, let's see if we can zoom in here, Pro Module 2. Okay. Let's see if you can open this up really quick. And you can see that it has their new Apex uh, white and orange logos there. Okay. Comes in its own aqua bus. The uh, salinity probe right here. I also got uh, a magnetic probe holder. Put all the probes in. Plenty of calibration packets, 7.0 and 10.0, as well as calibration packets for the salinity probe. And lastly, the big stuff here, the actual controller itself. We'll open it up here. Now, there are plenty of unboxing videos of the Neptune Apex out there. I just thought I'd make my own. Show you guys. Uh, right here we got the, I believe this is the temperature probe, if I'm not mistaken. Nope, this is the pH probe. We got the pH probe here. In this little box. Of course, it's uh, all made in the USA here. More calibration packets for the pH probe. Uh, this looks like it is the display unit right here. Okay, we got the actual display for the apex. And I'm surprised this wire is actually very, very thin. Uh, you gotta be careful not to break that. Don't want to cause any damage. Looks like we got the uh, apex piece right here with the nice white and orange logo. Set this down. Uh, what else we got here? We got the temperature probe. Now on this temperature probe with the apex, it comes with a little rubber cap. It looks like. This rubber cap, you want to leave it on. You don't want to take it off, okay? You want to put set the temperature probe inside the aquarium with the rubber cap on. Also, I got an aqua bus cable here, and I'm tangled, playing uh, tangling with mounting hardware, mounting screws, as you could, Ethernet cable. And lastly, this heavy duty. Energy Bar 8. Let's open this up real quick. Nice sturdy metal construction right here. Um, you can definitely tell the difference. You know, I have the Digital Aquatics uh, Reef Keeper um, outlets, and this is all metal, heavy duty construction here, which is really, really cool. And then some, uh, what else we got in here? Some goodies. We got the manuals on CD. 
and uh, looks like some instructions for the uh, energy bar eight. But uh, I'm gonna cut out, cut this video here. I'm gonna go ahead and install all this uh, equipment onto in the basement here. I'm gonna hook everything up to the sump, and uh, what I'll do is I'll kind of bring the camera towards it. We got the uh, RODI on the top off reservoir here, right here. And then we got this really big custom sump um, that I'm going to be uh, probably adding things to as uh, I set this up. In the back there, we just set up a bulk reef supply reactor running carbon and GFO. And then over here, we have the uh, return pumps, and we have a main pump. And then a auxiliary pump back there in case the main one breaks, it's already plumbed. And all you have to do is just uh, connect it and turn it on. And then lastly right here, recently we just got a calcium reactor hooked up. This is a pro-calcium uh, calcium carbonate reactor right there. That's, uh, as you can see, we got the CO2 tank adding stuff back into the tank right here. Got the refugium, live rocks and plants. Nice big skimmer right there. But anyway, this is going to be Archangel signing out. And I'll bring you guys another video once this Apex is hooked up. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. And this is going to be Archangel signing out.